peace be with you. We are happy to welcome you all to the Molecular Laboratory of Perpetual Soccer Hospital of Cebu, Incorporated. The PSH Molecular Laboratory requires strict observance of safe practices in handling COVID-19 samples for suspects, probable, and confirmed patients in order to protect every staff and personnel and the entire environment, especially through the meticulous practice of proper disposal of biohazard waste. Allow us to walk you through the features of the different rooms with its respective equipment and functions. The main door of the PSH Molecular Laboratory. This is a glass door which enables us to view the beautiful and well-lighted ID marker of our molecular laboratory. Donning Area We are protected with a donning area upon entering our working laboratory. Let us start off with hand hygiene and donning of PPE. We need to wash our hands with soap and water and then we properly don the PPE. We need to remember to always follow the general safe work practices such as keeping our hands away from our face, to work from clean to dirty, avoid touching areas in the molecular laboratory, and to change our PPE when torn or contaminated. All specimen samples which are properly packed, coming from both the outpatient and inpatient units for SARS-CoV-2 testing, are received at the clinical laboratory's main reception area, 
which is located at the first floor of the Our Lady of Chartres building. The specimen samples are placed in a sealed container and loaded into the dumb waiter. This is delivered in the third floor level of the laboratory building. The laboratory aid of the molecular laboratory will unload this box of samples and place it inside the pass box of the receiving room for specimens. He then disinfects the dumb waiter with Lysol or bleach. The pass box and the specimen receiving room. The receptionist will then receive the samples via the pass box of the specimen receiving area. This is where the transport box is checked for possible leakage. The box is sprayed with disinfectant before the samples are taken out. The receptionist ensures that all the samples received must follow the triple packaging system and must contain coolants or ice packs, otherwise the specimen will be rejected. All the transported samples are individually checked for correct labeling inside the Biological Safety Cabinet Level 2. Correct labeling must include the complete name, age, gender, and date of birth of the patient. The date and time of specimen collection must also be specified. The specimens received must coincide with the following. 1. The names of the patients in the Form A or the lists of specimen received for COVID-19 testing. 2. The laboratory request forms. And 3. The COVID case investigation form. Once everything is checked and verified, the forms are photocopied and accepted samples are written in the receiving logbook. Each sample has its corresponding accession number. There are occasions wherein samples are rejected. This is due to the following reasons as incorrect labeling or container leakage. These are logged and labeled as rejected and are returned back together with the forms. All COVID-19 samples received in the molecular laboratory are stored in the specimen receiving room refrigerator if they are not processed on the same day the specimens are submitted or if they are not processed immediately. The refrigerator must maintain the temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius to increase sample viability. The Specimen Handling or Specimen Preparation Room This is where accepted samples are forwarded. In this area, the analyst receives the samples and forms with their accession number. This is where labeling of vials and aliquoting of samples are performed inside the Level 2 Biosafety Cabinet. Once ready, it is then fed into the MagnaPure 9-6 RNA extractor. This automated extractor takes less than an hour to finish the process.
the reagent preparation room. This is where the master mix reagent is prepared for the actual PCR application process. The number of reagents to be prepared must be concordant to the number of samples to be processed in the PCR machine. The template adding room. When the automated RNA extractor is done, all RNA extracted samples are transferred via pass box to the template adding room. This is where the analyst prepares the reagents and samples before forwarding them to the PCR room. In addition, the samples that are already processed in the PCR machine have a definite storage of 14 days before they are properly disposed of. These processed samples are stored in the PCR room freezer. The temperature of the freezer must be between 20 to 70 degrees Celsius, low enough to promote long storage of the specimen. The PCR Amplification Room As soon as the analyst in the PCR Amplification Room receives the prepared samples and reagents via pass box, It is now ready to be loaded into the 7500 FASTDX real-time PCR instrument. It will take an hour or less for the process to be done. Once finished, the analyst executes the post-PCR result analysis. The Doffing Room When doffing the PPE, it is important to remember to remove the PPE without touching clean and skin surfaces. We need to meticulously take off the following items in this order. First will be the shoe cover, then the gloves, the goggles, face shield, the hair cover, gown, and finally, the mask. All items must be properly disposed of to the designated bins. Please take note to perform hand hygiene after each step. The Negative Pressure Room This is an isolation technique to prevent cross-contamination from room to room. It includes ventilation that generates negative pressure, a pressure lower than that of its surroundings, to allow air to flow into the isolation room, but not to escape from the room, as air will naturally flow from areas with higher pressure to areas with lower pressure, thereby preventing contaminated air from escaping the room. This technique is used to isolate patients with airborne severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS-CoV, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS-CoV, Influenza or Flu, and the Coronavirus Disease 2019 or COVID-19. Disposal of Biohazard Waste All infectious waste, as well as the used PPEs from the molecular laboratory, are collected and contained in a biohazard plastic bag after the end of every shift. They are primarily treated for decontamination by autoclaving before the waste will be taken by a third-party company called Pollution Abatement Specialist Incorporated or PASI, who can further treat and dispose of the waste. Thank you so much for the short journey that you took with us around our new molecular laboratory. We hope that you were all fascinated by our new facility and equipment. 
Thank you and God bless. The Data Management Room This is where the final verification by the section head and the analyst is done. The encoder conveys each result to the system and the final results are validated by the Molecular Laboratory Pathologist. The releasing of official results will then follow.